Hello friends, if you are working in an environment uh, where you are using uh, more than one file uh, and getting your data from multiple input files and getting your output as well after preparing it uh, in multiple files and each time uh, before running the workflow you have to uh, point uh, to those input files and to that output file and doing so you're wasting a lot of time and I was also in a similar situation when I began working in Alteryx uh, till I uh, discovered this great option that we already have in Alteryx uh, where we don't require to uh, point to those input files and output file uh, every time before running the workflow. And in this video, uh, that is exactly I'm going to show you. So let's see how uh, this happens. To do that, all we need uh, to do is to save this Alteryx workflow and the files that we are going to use as our input files uh, to save all this in one single location. And when we do that, uh, we just need to uh, change the uh, file path and modify it a little so that it doesn't have to uh, look anywhere else and it will automatically search in the current location for that input file. So let's start and see how it all happens. So first, I'll input, I'll insert the input tool and I'll get it from a file. For example, we'll insert this sample, sheet one. And right now it is in D drive uh, in a folder called Alteryx and a file name called sample. And suppose uh, whatever data preparation that you need to do here, you can do that. And uh, I'll take the output here just to show you. For example, I will just directly get the output and I will direct it to say same folder and I'll call it sample output version 1 and it is already xlsx so it will ask us uh, the sheet name to choose the sheet name so sheet 1 is ok I'll say ok so now if you see the output path is also tltrix sample.com uh, sample out.v1.xlsx and the sheet name that we provided and uh, the input file path is Alteryx sample xlsx and let's see where this workflow is saved right now and this wo uh, workflow is saved in Alteryx and within Alteryx there is another folder and we have to bring it to out and we'll say choose file path and we'll save it here so now what will I do definitely uh, because we have already pointed so it will run but what we want is it should choose the path automatically so what we'll do is we'll go to this Artex folder and the same sample file I'll copy and I will create another folder I'll say Alteryx new and I'll save this sample file here and I'll go back to the workflow and I'll save it In the same location now so that right now the location it is showing as d alteryx sample dot xlsx so what we need to do is just delete this part there is no error and this as well you can delete this part so now let's run this 
and if I go to the C folder and Altrix new sample the work path is here the output is saved here so you see this guys and if your input files they have some dates uh, either uh, uh, preceding the file name or after the file name you can just give one wildcard this asterisk as your wildcard so that uh, whatever may be in the beginning of this file name it will just uh, ignore that and it will just search for this name sample and it will import similarly if you want uh, your output file uh, if you want to insert uh, current date so on whichever date you are running the workflow you want to insert uh, that uh, into your output file name uh, then you can do that i have another video uh, on that i'll I'll give that link in the description you can watch it how to insert the uh, date um, uh, the uh, in the file name uh, so that's it guys uh, this is how you can just uh, uh, remove the file uh, path and just keep the file name and uh, save all your uh, workflow and the files input files uh, in one uh, location so that uh, you don't have to uh, point to input file and output file every time before running your workflow. Thanks for watching.